As a career consultant, I work with students who have questions about their career opportunities or options. And I work with alumni as well as they are transitioning through their career. Was that the direction you wanted to take your career? So I'm the one who gets to help you feel good about the decisions you're making. I actually graduated with my master's in library science and ended up doing a lot of different things with my information skills. So I did research and I did writing. I was an executive information advisor for a CEO of a telecom company. And when I was on the board of the University of Denver MLIS program, I was asked to teach a course in alternative LIS careers because I had done so many weird things with my degree. And I wrote a book called Rethinking Information Work. Based on that, I was recruited into a role of actually becoming a career coach for the students at the iSchool. If you think about the information universe, the, the range of jobs that one can do with library and information skills, they rely on sort of different core skills. One might be managing information or organizing information or creating information. So I would be looking at sort of which paths do you think look most interesting to you? And then, okay, so if we went down that path, here are all the different options. So glad we had a chance to connect. So tell me what's going on. And let's talk about what are all the ways I could use this skill and how you're going to work with your network and gain professional visibility so that all of these things work together for you as quickly as possible to get that first foot in the door, John. And I help with resumes. I'll help with cover letters. So whatever tool or action or thought process that you need during a given coaching session, that's what I'm going to provide. So there's me and all of my knowledge. Then there is the career development website through the grad school that I have populated with content, with how to's, with information on, you know, these are the questions to ask in an interview, plus podcasts, plus online workshops, career workshops that I do so that if you have the time to make an appointment and speak with me, then we have a great brainstorming session. But if it's Sunday night and it's, oh no, I've got that interview tomorrow, you can always go to the professional development section in the iSchool website and there will be a raft of information so you're never left without some sort of support. And four years from now, if you're ready to go the next step, I'm always available to you. The iSchool program itself is really structured to focus on graduating students who are immediately able to hit the ground running and contribute to the profession. And so we know you're here to have a professional career. We want to help that happen for you. And we want you to love it and be an incredible contributor. I'm here simply to help you accomplish what you want to accomplish and be the person that you want to be in your career. I have a lot of students who say to me, the way you helped me look at this issue or my skills or my opportunities changed my life. And there is, I don't think, any amount of money that you could get paid that would be as rewarding as that statement is.